All right, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule well and who teach well. Much peace and mercy to the hopeful elect. You brothers and you sisters, wholeheartedly waiting upon the Lord Yahweh to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to deliver us from this captivity. To you, I say Shalom. This video is going to be entitled, The Spirit of the Lord Has. The prophets proclaiming his name All right the spirit of the lord has his prophets proclaiming his name and there's multiple precepts i can go to um one precept particular that has been coming out a lot is sirach 17 and 10 and the elect shall praise his holy name right so the elect the nation of Israel is going to praise the name of the Heavenly Father. And you got a lot of men that's teaching against the name. They're teaching different names to the flock. So the the, the spirit is heavy on, on the, the Heavenly Father's name right now, right? And in, 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 in these last days, you're going to need the name of the Lord. You're going to need the name of Yahweh Ba'ashem Shai, right? Now in the Hebrew, because our power his name is in the ancient hebrew paleo hebrew when you google paleo hebrew it'll show you some like drawings which look like some type of characters um but each one of those characters have their own meanings and sounds and those make up the hebrew alphabet right the alphabet that is the alphabet of the Hebrew. You see? So in order to call upon the Hebrew God, right? There's that movie, um, the God of the Hebrews. He requires blood. <laughs> uh, I think it was The Mist. Yeah, that, um, <laughs> that woman... You know, she was in there prophesying. <laughs> you know, the God of the Bible is angry with you people. <laughs> right? So, the name is important. You see, he, he's uh, the God of the Hebrews. So, he would have a Hebrew name. And that name is Yahweh. 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 You see? That's the Heavenly Father's name. It means he, Yahweh, means exist or to be. He is. You see? He is. Yahweh. And and Bahasham means in the name. Right? So because when you when you pray or when you when you call on the name of the Lord, you have to go through Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai said it himself. Second. Let's read that. Um Yahweh Shai said it in the book of John. Chapter 14 and verse 6. Yahweh Shai saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So you have to grow, you have to go through Yahweh Shai in order to, to get to Yahweh. So when you're praying, you pray Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash, Rakakodash is the Holy Spirit. The angels record your prayers and they go to Yahweh Shah. He's our mediator and he presents our prayers to the Heavenly Father. And you can read that in uh, Revelation, the fifth chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. I think it's either the fifth chapter or the fourth chapter. I just want to make sure. Yep. Revelation 5 and 8. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell before or fell down before the Lamb, having every every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. So these prayers go up into the heavens. That's why praying is very important. You should be praying every day. You should be, you should, especially the Lord's Prayer. You know, Abba Nawa Shabbat Shemayim, Kodash Hayashim Kahi Hawa. 
Balagwat Kataba'a, Rataza Kahaya, Aisha Ba Rataza, Kayaha, Kaya Laka, or Kaya. See, look, I'm, I'm, so I don't usually, I don't usually say the prayer over, over, you know, recording. And and when you you got to slow it down too, you know, you got to slow it down. And actually, get acquainted with these words, so they become more genuine when you're when you're saying them and then you're praying them to you, to the heavenly Father. Because if you just and you just kind of like nonchalant and you just you know what I'm saying there's no energy behind that. There's no sincerity behind that. You want to be. You want to start to be like when you when you wooing a woman, you know what I'm saying? You know, you put that flavor in your voice. You put that swagger in your voice. So when you talking to her, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, what's up, girl? Like, yeah. you know, so it's the same thing with the Heavenly Father. Put some enthusiasm in your voice. Put some passion behind your prayers. You know, that's a video title. Put some passion behind your prayers, man. And actually beg the Heavenly Father. You know, when you're putting up your curses, when you're putting up, your, uh, you know, the blessings, you know, when you're anointing yourself, when you're anointing brothers. That's why when we give the salute, we give all praises to you. How we, we give that, we put passion behind those words, man. You know, because we want, we want to, we want the Heavenly Father to hear and we want, because he exists, man. That's why, that's what his name means. He exists. He is. He hears. <laughs> <laughs> you know, man, he created, he created ears, man. You think he can't hear our prayers? Right? All right, so that's a tangent, right? Just going back. <clears throat> um, John 4 and 14 and 6. Y'all should say, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto me by, but by... uh, no, no man cometh unto the Father but by me. So you have to go through Y'all should We say, Yahweh, by Hashem, meaning in the name. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai means he is, uh, or he delivers, or he saves. Right? Yah, meaning he, Yahweh Shai delivers. And uh, that word, you, when you look up Yahweh Shai, it can mean save, it can mean, um, you know, save or deliver. They're both uh, good. But he is the deliverer. You see? Bahasham in the name, Racha Kodash. You put that Cha at the end, Racha Kodash. That's the Holy Spirit. So when that's what that's how we pray, you know, that's how we salute brothers. That's how we, you know, send the blessings. Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rechakadash. So the names of the Lord is very important, you know. And I had uh, Proverbs loaded up because we're gonna need those names in these days of of tribulation. Proverbs eighteen and ten: The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. So the Lord's name is, is like a defense. It's protection. Right? When you call on the name of the Lord, that's why David said it in, in the book of Psalms. He said, when I call upon thee, deliver me speedily. You know? This this divine power, this omnipotent power in the heavens who, who, who will answer your cry and your desperate need. Of, of deliverance That's how much trust and faith You have to have in his name When I call on his name I know he's going to deliver me Even if I have to endure a little bit of pain Or a little bit of shame Or a little bit of embarrassment Or whatever it is that I have to endure At that moment I know when I call on the name of Yahweh By Shem Yahweh Shai He's going to deliver me You see That's why the scriptures say um, When the enemy shall come in like a flood let me grab that real fast in Isaiah 59. Because why? You're going to call on the name of the Lord. Isaiah 59, verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord, Yahweh, from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. So how? why would they fear the name of the Lord if there's no action behind that name? If there's no power behind that name? If there's no deliverance behind? Of the children of Israel starting with the elect behind that name is because there will be there will be uh, um, the Lord said he's going to glorify and magnify his name again so they're gonna fear it um, it say when the enemy shall come in like a flood the spirit of the Lord Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him so the spirit of the Lord is gonna lift up the standard 
It could be uh, teleportation. It can be spiritual power. Where you can break a nigga's spine in half, and and like like some fatality type shit, rip that bitch through his esophagus, and and rip it clean out of his body. You know, we we don't know what the Lord is gonna allow us to do. We don't know how the Lord is gonna deliver us. All we know is if when when we call on his, his name, we're gonna believe in him, and we're gonna we're gonna trust that he's going to deliver us. And that's where faith comes in. You see, that's why it says, "Whoso call on the name of the Lord." Let's grab. I think that's Acts two. This is Acts two and twenty one, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. So these words were were given to you, Jake. You so-called Negro, you so-called Latino, you so-called Native American, you so-called Mexican, Puerto Rican, right? Cuban, Guatemalan, etc. These these words are meant for you. When if when the time comes for for great destruction and, and, and famine and death and the, the enemy coming in like a flood. It says what? And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call that whosoever shall call on the name of the of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai, shall be saved. You see? So right now we're practicing, we're rehearsing the righteous acts. When we go through things, we call on the name of the Lord. You go through affliction, we call on the name of the Lord. You go through adversity, you call on the name of the Lord. You pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Baba Kwasha means please in Hebrew. Help me, deliver me, give me patience, give me temperance. Right? You pray to the Lord for these different things, you know, because we're in the flesh. We go through things. Daily life. And then, you know, the, the, the extra abnormal shit. You'd be like, okay, now, nah, come on. <laughs> you know Well you know it's demons fucking with you You're like alright man look I rebuke you in the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai And that spirit will fucking flee Cause they know Oh man she got faith Let me let me go ahead and back down for you. How should I get on me You know you have to think like that You have to understand like that Because that's the truth of the matter You know you had men Who called fire down from heaven you had men who, who raised up men from the dead. You had men who who, who multiplied, um, you know, bread. Yahweh Shai multiplied bread in the name of the Lord, man, and fish. He walked on water. He 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 turned water into wine. You got to understand that there's power in the name of the Lord. That's why he said, "I have I have manifested Thy name." Let's grab that in John 17. <clears throat> Because Yahweh Shai knows that he's going to glorify his name again. Um, let's go ahead and read this. I'm going to read down. I'm going to make it fast because I got to go. John 17 and 1. These words speak Yahweh Shai and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son that thy son also may glorify thee. Because Yahweh Shai, when you praise that, when you praise Yahweh Shai, he praises the Lord. So the, the glory always goes to the Heavenly Father. That was the whole thing. The whole thing is to glorify Yahweh about Yah, the Heavenly Father, right? And now it's through Yahweh Shai. As thou has given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou has given him. And this is, is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true power, and Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, whom thou sent. I have glorified thee on the earth, I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, O oh Father, glorify thou me with the with thine own self. See, Yahweh Shai, he wanted the glory of the Heavenly Father. He didn't need no glory from nobody on this earth. With the Because he knew the glory from the Heavenly Father. He knew the glory from the Father was way greater than any glory that you can get from, from some vain man on the earth. Um, You know, and ultimately that, that position on his right hand. It says, which I had... With that, which I had with thee before the world was. Where? On the right hand of the Father. 
I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou, which thou gavest me out of the world. And this is why a lot of these men aren't teaching the name because the names wasn't manifested to them. That's why they call on Jesus. That's why they call on Christ. They say most high blessed. Even though they were taught the right names, even though they know the right names. They don't call on those names because it wasn't manifested to them. And I want to see what this word manifest is in the, in the Greek. Like I say, I do got to go. So um, I'm going to do this quick. Where is the word at? Uh, okay. It's all, I manifest. I'm tripping. Um, Fenero to make manifest or visible or known what has been hidden or unknown. To manifest whether by words or deeds or in any in any other way. To make actual and visual realize. So they don't realize that this is the name of the Lord, even though they know it's the name of the Lord. They're through. <laughs> you see? Um, a little bit more. It says, and thou gavest them me, and they have uh and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all these that all things whether whether so thou has given me are of thee for i have given for i have given unto them the words which thou gavest me and they have received them and have surely have known surely that i came out from thee and they have believed that thou didst send me so this is why we trust in the name of yahweh shai because yahweh shai is the one that has manifested that name unto us you see so we're going to call on the name of the Lord continually and praise that name continually until we can't no more. That's why the scriptures say those that stood stiffly for the names of the Lord. So I'm going to end it there. I pray this is at a fine and exhorting. I want to give all praises again to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Shalom.